Okay, I'm going to try to do this really quick. I got a heat warning already on my phone. I had to turn it off because the sun was on it. So it is a warm day today. A couple things real quick. I always like to buy microfibers. They're real great. That's where I do my cowboy bath went in. I wash them. I use them over and over and over again. I also take these with me when I go hiking with the dogs. I can pour water on it, cool them off. They roll up really tight. So microfibers are your friends. Throw that down. I also just go home goods and I get me the cheapest little I, their own little washcloths for when I'm washing them and stuff. So there you go. When you leave, you will have some doggy pads. I don't suggest you use those full time, but when you're, when you're traveling home with them, I'll have these for you. Um, and because they have a scent to kind of help them urinate, you know, if you use these in your home all the time, your dog will learn to urinate in their home. So I'm not a fan, but they are a necessity when we're bringing puppies home. So you will go home with one of these. Also, at Home Goods or Target or TJ Maxx, whenever there are baby blankets on sale, I always buy them. Um, and I just buy them. And this is a dog blanket somebody gave me, but you pay more for a dog blanket for the dog thing. So just kind of watch. Walmart has them. Just always buy these. And then I buy them bigger, like what you buy, you know, an eight-year-old child. We're having some puppy play over there. Um, and just always have a stack because I can always switch out my bedding every night and you'll need this when you first bring them home and they learn to get attached to their blankets. They're going to drag them around the house. Sometimes they'll only want to sleep on their favorite blanket. The other thing I always get and I put in their kennels, I don't put in dog beds yet because I've spent a lot of money on dog beds and if they pee once or twice in it, they think they can always pee in it or um, if I leave them alone too long, my older dogs, they will open the zipper, tear out all the stuffing, I've come home and it's looked like Christmas about 10 times. So they have now lost their bedding privileges. They get beds when they watch TV with us, but I don't let them sleep with them because shenanigans, man, they're just always in it. But what I do is I always watch, again, for the stores when the bath mats go on sale. I love these. Like when I get out of the tub with the dogs and they're wet, I set them on this. They sleep in them. I fold them in half. I put them in the kennel. They're soft and the dogs love them. So kind of watch for these. These are great. Um, I like to get a lot of my dog stuff at Home Goods because uh, they have great prices. So you don't need to necessarily go to Pet Smart or, or the other dog stores. You're going to find other stores have good selections. People are marketing the dogs and there's more dog aisles every time I go. So I try to get me a bulk dog bag. I think I picked this whole thing up for $3.99. So just always have them that way. And I keep one in my car, I keep one in my backpack. So dog bags. I'm going through this fast and my battery's low. Really quick, when the puppies are small, cat scissors, cat nail scissors. For the first little few months of your life, you'll be doing their nails with these, okay? Cat scissors. So you'll want to get some of those and doggy bowls. You can decide if you want to go with stainless steel or ceramic. I do both. Most of the time I do stainless steel, easy to throw in the washer and uh, the washer and dryer, the dishwasher. But these are very cute, fun, also washable. Just sometimes when you have multiple dogs, they tend to break when they're playing around roughhousing. But if you're only doing with one dog and they know this is their special place, you know, go all out, get the fancy, the fancy bowls. Uh oh. When they get their teeth, they start to bite each other when they play and they're not used to the pain. So they'll grab each other's little ears and they have little sharp teeth and it's like a tug of war. So that's what you're hearing, but it looks like it's over. Um, I will always get a little canister to either put my supplies in. Um, this is treats. So I'll have treats in it or my cotton balls or whatever. But I, I always try to find something so they're not sniffing out the treats because if, if they know there's treats, they will do everything they can to open the bag and help themselves. Um, two things, especially with a doodle, comb, and it doesn't have to be the one with the handle, but a comb. And I like the actual comb that's long and then skinny, closer together. But this one's nice too, because it's an easy handle. And I think I got this one at, not PetSmart, but um, Petco. I really like this. This so far has been a really nice one. And then doodles, this brush, can you see it? You'll need these for when, they're, when, you're, when you're doing them. So doggy brush. And I also, when I was at Petco, I bought me a probiotic. Cause sometimes when they get home, they get upset tummies and stuff. And what I did when they were babies, uh, 
she had an upset tummy just from like everything's different I don't know what's going on and I took a quarter of this and I spread it on their food um, and so each meal I just put a little quarter of it to kind of help settle not the whole bag just a quarter of it sprinkle a little bit stir it in and kind of help their stomach so it's always nice to have a little puppy pro well a dog probiotic this would be a necessity like if you had a baby let's put some let's use this why do I have Benadryl okay so I have a vet to say can I give my dog Benadryl he said yes you can I have one dog that gets car sick pretty bad and um, and if we're gonna go for a long ride my vet has given me the dose that I need I don't determine it so I'll say can I give him Benadryl yes you can how much should I give my vet so I do keep it on hand but that's something you have to ask your vet mine's okay with it um, and it works for me so I've only had to use it one time but again I want to have like a little emergency bag then when I'm hiking or he's going to the park there's lots of different kinds portable bowls okay portable bowls are your friends so I like this one this is rough wear another one of my favorite brands love rough wear love their backpacks <laughs> love everything about them so this one's nice it folds up goes in my bag and I feed them their stuff. I'm kind of going through this really fast. My dogs get the new vet vitamins. Uh, the puppies will start a little later, after 16 weeks, they'll start with a half a tab. But this is what my girls get. And I love their shampoos. Love, love, love their shampoos. So I, I use their shampoo when I do my cowboy bath, I use either one of these. And so, and I'm sorry I'm so far away, but I really do like the new vet. I'm supposed to have links on my website to these things. I'm working on it, be patient with me. I will get you links so everything is one-stop shopping. I'm not there yet. Kind of crazy, I just kind of have a lot of puppies right now, so don't have time to do it all. But I will, I'll get it on there. Um, really quick, I can't see it out here. The dog food I buy, and when, this is their, um, their little cleaner, but the dog that I, food that I buy is this company. I hope you can see it life's abundance you're required to keep your dog on that for a year after they leave me and it's backwards but it's life's abundance we will have this on a blog so you guys can see what it is but life's abundance it's a vitamin company that really has a strong belief in real true healthy dog food story about it is when i bring my dogs at one day or two day old to the doctor any vet they are astonished. They'll say, these are the strongest puppies I've ever seen. These puppies are, how old are they? I'll say two days old. Really? How old are they? And it's because the diet the mom's getting. He says, they are so strong. He says, usually when we have puppies, they're kind of docile, they fought back. And when my dogs are going in and getting their claws, he says, these guys are tough. So that is a testament to the diet that that mom is getting. And it's been recommended to me from other breeders. And so I decided to start it and I see a night to day difference. I'm able to get the weight back on my, my dogs after they're done nursing. Um, it's better for their hair. It's better for everything. So look into the life's abundance, read, read about them. It's, you don't have to be a member. Um, again, I need to have that on my site too as a link working on it. I'm hoping to get that up in the next two weeks. Necessity, one of these. You'll say, well, your dogs don't shed. Well, your dogs aren't gonna have their permanent coat till they're 18 months. And little puppy coats do shed, and little fluff balls. So I always have one of these in my house, just so when I need to do, someone's coming in, kind of climb up, I do it on the furniture, okay? Because they are gonna be fluffy for a while, and they will have some fluff come off of them. Um, Australian Shepherds do not get in their permanent full coat until they are 18 months old. So you're going to have lots of different things going on with your puppy's coat for the next few months. And I always have baby wipes. So uh, they tend to sometimes not wipe themselves really, really well. So when they're puppies, number one, I always trim up and make sure that area is clean. Get some little scissors, trim around it, get a little razor, whatever you have to do, keep the little bum clean. And if this is if this is their bum, go about this far around it, all the way around, so that there's clear passage. Because what's going to happen is the feces is going to get stuck in the hair, and then she'll get he or she will get backed up. So you always want to keep that clean. And I'm an advocate. Why not give them a good wipe when they come back in the house? Because they are going to sit on your furniture and on your lap. So in case something was left behind, 
puppy wipes are your friends. Um, little puppy treats again, read all about what you want. And then I also have puppy games. This helps with their intelligence. The easiest one to start with is this one. And it helps with smelling and paw control and mouth control. My girls have not figured this one out yet, so I wouldn't start with this one. And then you will graduate to the other big clippers. I know I'm going really quick, and I've done this video. Love this brand. I love doing the doing my dog's nails with it. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I, I'm not intimidated by it. I don't feel like I'm going to hurt them. And this is a great one. Your dog will probably be about maybe eight months when it's ready for this one. So otherwise you can pay 10 to 12, 15 bucks every time your dogs need to have their nails done. So that's one you want. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Every veterinarian says so you should be brushing your dog's teeth. So I'm gonna throw that out there to you. Um, ask me if I brush all my dog's teeth. My answer is no. But I put my money in my Elkhorns and they chew on those enough that they've got some pretty good teeth and I do go get their teeth cleaned every 14 months. So, um, and last but not least, I think I have almost everything done, leashes and collars. If you're gonna be taking your dog out, okay, the brand I like the best, I don't know why I keep showing you the camera because it's backward, is Lupine, L-U-P-I-N-E. Reason I like Lupine is money back guarantee. Your dog chews out of this, breaks it, they send you a new one leash, collar, halters, whatever your dog chews up, send a picture of it and they'll send you a new one. Great quality, great product, and I love it. So my favorite dog gear is the Lupine and Rough Wear. Um, I bought some other collars that I thought were so pretty and so cute, and they faded in the sun within two weeks. So sometimes pretty and cute doesn't mean it's the best. So I've gone back to my Lupine again. So guys, when you are walking your dog, I would prefer that they're in a harness and not a collar. If a dog comes out and your dog's pulling, I've had I've have a client whose puppy had a bad tracheotomy. Um, they're buying one of our dogs and they were telling me that their dog was really, really sick through its whole life because it pulled so much on its neck. Um, that being said, that just reiterates what I've always said. Walking your dogs, put this on. Yes, your dog should have a collar. Yes, your dog should have a collar and a tag. And we have that. So, collars, tags, and on the tag, I don't know if you so on the tag, and you're not going to be able to see this, but I put on there their name, my phone number, I also include their chip number. So it has their name on it, my name on it, their chip number, and for them to call me. So I put all of that on their things. I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, and I get the big one because I want to make sure everything fits. Um, the other thing right now in training the puppies, I'm training my puppies to walk and heal up a little better. I am using these. There's no collar, but this way it has a stop point where it stays loose. I can put them in it and it will stay loose as long as they're not pulling. And when they pull on me, it'll tighten up, but I keep them right with me to make sure. I won't use this full time, I use this for training. And again, when it's a, a weekly, a walking them all the time, once they've learned how to heal, do this. And we will talk about healing, we will do all of that. I know this was really fast, I think I covered everything. Oh, one last thing. This is my new invention. The tortilla thing. We get this at Costco, anywhere, everybody has it, Walmart. So what I've done is my dogs can always smell food and sometimes I'll make their food. So like right now the food is soft because it's puppies, but usually it's kibble. Um, so this, this food is all ready for the puppies. And my, my dogs right now keep seeking out all the dog food. Now granted, your dogs will be eating hard, but right now we have puppies. But what I found, so my dogs are always searching for dogs or food. I'll have all the dog food ready for the day. And I go like this and put it on they can't smell it it's like it's out, been out here right under the nose and they can't smell it. so this is my new invention for the day I don't know how you'll utilize it but product of the day tortilla warmer so you want to put your treats in there they'll stay fresh they'll stay soft who knows but anyway I think I've covered everything um, we're gonna do a blog with all of this you can never have enough of these I use this for cleaning 
And if I have a dog who is obnoxious, sometimes I'll have a bottle of water if I have to squirt them and to catch their attention for them to not do something. That's the least evasive way to do that. Um, but we'll talk about training methods, shaking pennies, water, collars. We'll do that another day. I think I've covered a lot. I hope you guys have a fine and dandy day. I hope this video helped you and I'm off to go take care of some more puppies. You guys take care. Bye-bye.